G'day YouTube, down the bricks here. What you building? I'm very excited to bring you this set today. It's a Harry Potter set. 4768 is its number. It's called the Durmstrang Ship. It has 550 pieces, has two minifigs, and came out in 2005. So it's 10 years old, this set. And I have to admit, it was a set I didn't even know existed. I went to a Lego show. I did explain this in the haul video I got, but I went to a Lego show a few months back, and there was a very nice display there, and it had a lot of the pirate ships, and it had the Imperial flagship, and, and um, a whole bunch of the ghost ships from Lord of the Rings, and it had this one here, and it really stood out to me because I'd never ever seen this ship before and I was very curious at whether it was a set put together by the the exhibitor at the show or whether it was actually an official Lego set and when I found out it was a Harry Potter set I was really excited that I might be able to get my hands on one so I was set about that and it can be a little bit hard to find this one it is quite expensive as I said it comes with two minifigs and those minifigs why I'm not a Harry Potter fan and why they don't mean a whole lot to me. They are pretty valuable minifigs. So I actually picked this up without the minifigs, so it made it quite a bit cheaper. It was second hand and overall it is in very good condition. So I was happy with the purchase that I made. Now, just one thing to mention with this ship as well is it actually was released under the same number, but it was released as an exclusive. I think it may have only been in the States, but instead of having four, um, sorry, two minifigs, it came out with six minifigs. It actually came out with a bonus four minifigs. And I think that was just um, exclusive to one of the US retailers. So that was uh, a bit of an interesting point. I've, I've never actually seen that happen before where there's two sets released under the exact same number but actually have different minifigs so I thought that's that's quite interesting and just overall I just think it looks really unique it's, there's no I've never seen anything quite like this from Lego before just with the the type of hull and just the build of it it's um it just really stands out and I'm so glad to add this to my collection of ships now it looks quite barren with no minifigs, so I'm going to have a little play around with that, and I might show you that a little bit later. But for now, I think I'm just going to have to get in a little bit closer because it it is so it's only quite sort of short ship, but it's very tall. So just to get the whole thing in frame, I've really had to set the camera back. So it's going to be a little bit hard to see some of the detail. So I think I'll just give it a spin around now, and then we'll. Get the camera in a bit closer and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside because obviously all this back section here comes off so we can get in and have a look and have a bit of a play around but just to swing it around now one of the things that stands out to me is these hole pieces I've never seen hole pieces like that and you can see they're very wide it's a very wide ship and I mean it goes together really quick I mean it's only 550 pieces so there's not a lot of pieces to this build and the hull is just this half section here and the front and this piece here so you put those three pieces together and you're already on you're well on your way to building the ship now I did have a quick look a while ago when I did when I was looking into buying this set to see what these hull pieces were and I think there's only from memory I'm just thinking there's only one other ship that these hull pieces have come out in before and that was a pirate ship and I think it might have actually been I think they might have been in brown uh, don't hold me to that but yeah so so to get them in the black and grey that's the only set they've come out out in so you can just see right around there just from the back, let's have another look at that. I mean, it really just looks great, doesn't it? So there's no big sails on it, but we do get these little flags here, and uh, they look pretty good. We get a lot of these 
gold pieces here so that's nice to see and overall I just think it's a really really cool build so let's go in now we'll have a bit of a closer look let's take some of this back section off and have a look at the inside okay so now we're a bit closer I like this little design here where they've actually got the mast on a lean and the way they've constructed that I quite enjoyed that there's a little walk the plank section here so that's pretty cool you can lift out that centre there and hide some cargo in there if that's what you want to do so that's pretty cool we've got some gold studs one by one rounds there in gold we've got some printed shields and just in the little section here where you steer the ship there's a printed map got a lamp in there this rear cabin section lifts right off let's get that off there we go actually one of the jumpers just came off let me put that back on there we go so that looks that looks pretty cool and you can open the doors up and look inside but if you want to get in there better you can just fold the whole thing open and that is very cool check that out now like I said I did get this second hand and there's supposed to be a a red book I think it's a red book some of these old instructions the colors are a little bit hard to identify um, these dark red pieces here in the instructions you'd swear that they were actually brown pieces but um, yes I think it was a red book so that that was missing there being second hand um, most times I have pretty good luck there was a few pieces missing I did get a few extra pieces um, that the pieces that were missing were just some very basic um, there was a couple of slopes in in the tan um, what else was it there, there wasn't too much and it wasn't a real concern to me that the main thing was the red book I would have liked to get that book but um, I might look at trying to chase one of those up but we've got this printed tile here with a scroll on it so that is really cool I love getting printed pieces like that so it's actually a pretty nice little cabin so it's a good feature that it opens up there so you can have a bit of a place I like that and this top section here just for the decoration where we get the gold see if I can get that to focus on it the gold dishes there very nice indeed so I really like that it's a nice bit of detail okay I'll just put that back there for now and then this section here so this whole bit here so you see that just moving a little bit there let's uh, take that off and the reason that just moves is because that section there is just held on by a couple of pins there so you can just clip that all back together like so so you just remove that section to get down to the inside here and I'm just going to tip that up and and show you down on the inside there you can see there's walkways little entryways both sides there down into the main compartment we've got a broom on one side there and a little table there is a stick on that side whether that's some sort of magic wand or something I'm not too sure and the table there you can actually tilt that up like that and it's got a little stash spot underneath so that's pretty cool not a whole lot to it but it does look rather good and on this section here on the front we have an anchor that you can actually just take off there and have hanging out so that's pretty pretty cool and just to have a look on the 
back here just got a little bit more detail I think that's just a elephant trunk piece there in tan so that's pretty cool but now I think I'm going to deck this out with some mini figs and see how it looks it's just showing in the instructions here the play features and as I used to do in the old days is show you some wacky builds you could make from it. Have a look at that, would you? <laughs> and then some older Harry Potter sets. So, pretty cool. Look at that dragon. That is pretty sweet. I wouldn't mind having that. Well, I've put some minifigs in there. So, Pirates or Imperial. Let's have a look what I've gone with. And I decided to go with some Imperial minifigs. So, these were the ones I got in the pirate chest set so I'm going to use them to deck this ship out I think that looks really cool so we've got we've got them having one pirate here walking the plank and that just helps bring the ship to life a little bit doesn't it well it's not a watcher building without a comparison now very hard to do a comparison because I haven't built many of my ships yet I've got quite a few put away but haven't built any so there's only one one ship I could actually compare this with with and it's really really going to be an unfair comparison because it is the sea cow so the sea cow is 2741 pieces comparing it to 550 pieces totally unfair but it's going to help give you an idea of the size comparison, just the overall size of, of this ship here. So let me grab the sea cow now and let's have a look at that. Okay, and there we have it. So like I said, totally unfair comparison. But the overall size, it gives you a good idea for that. I mean, overall dimensions isn't too different to the derm string. So obviously the sea cow's got... A lot more built onto it it really is a BSAT CK anyone that's got that set knows what I'm talking about um, but yeah just to give you an idea I, I suppose from back here it's a little bit hard to see so I'll take the camera off the tripod now and we'll just go in okay just a bit of a closer view it really just goes to show how big those hull pieces are on this Harry Potter ship. It's quite wide, isn't it? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this Watcher building. It's a fun little set, the Derm Strange ship from Harry Potter. So I'd love to know what you guys think of it. Have you got this ship? Are you a big Harry Potter fan? Let me know in the comments. That would be awesome. As always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are enjoying my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to, up to date with all my latest videos because I have a lot more on the way. We love Lego here at Down Under Brick, so there's a lot more to come. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Daddy.